There are no cats in Turkey. Türkiye'de hiç kedi yok. But there is Turkey in the cats. Ama kedilerde hindi var. It might seem quite incredible, but from these two sentences, we can learn quite a lot about some of the unique features of the Turkish language, which is a fascinating, beautiful, and above all logical language. The first thing we notice is that there is no verb to be in Turkish. So you don't say, the cat is hungry. Instead you say, Kedi aç. Cat, hungry. You may have also noticed that there is no word for the in Turkish. Kedi is cat and the cat. Turkish words often consist of building blocks, which means suffixes are added on to the ends of words. For example, Araba means car. Arabam means my car or car my. Arabamda means in my car or car my in. The cat is in my car? Kedi arabamda. So six words in English become just two in Turkish. This same efficient principle applies to adjectives and verbs. It means the language is logical, predictable and efficient. Although words appear to be long and complicated, they can in fact be broken down into their individual parts quite easily. The Turkish language uses the Latin alphabet, but with a few modifications and a few new letters. But once you know how to pronounce those letters, you'll be able to read and speak Turkish words easily. As you are listening to some of those examples, you may have noticed that the language flows easily from the tongue. The Turkish language uses what is known as vowel harmonization. Look at these two words which you saw earlier. Türkiye'de, arabamda. The de and the da at the end of the two words mean the same thing. Both mean in. But the vowel has changed and harmonizes with the previous vowels in the main word. Vowel harmonization is exactly that. Harmony of the vowels. So are there cats in Turkey? Of course there are. And what do they call a turkey in Turkey? A turkey in the Turkish language is a Hindi. The English word for the turkey stems from a mistake, which was made in the 1500s. The imported turkey hen, which originated from the Americas, was confused with the guinea fowl from Africa, which Turkish traders brought to Europe. The Turks, in turn, called the American bird a Hindi, because they thought back then that it looked like a peacock from India. This small point indicates how Turkey, the country, was at the center of world trade hundreds of years ago, as it is again today. Today, Turkey holds a strategic position between East and West. It forms the bridge culturally, geographically, and commercially between Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. And here is one of the best kept secrets. If you want to learn an important language, and you want to stay ahead of the curve, learn Turkish.